Good morning everyone, happy Vlogmas day nine. We are at Target right now, about to run some errands. We will see how long I can hang. Believe it or not, but I already feel better from my cold. I still have it, but it already feels like it's on the other end. I feel like yesterday was the worst day, and then I already feel so much better today. So. We will see. I'm gonna wear a mask in the store to protect others from getting my cold and to protect myself since my immune system is low. But I'm happy that it's getting better already. I'm here with Winnie and Kyle. Let's go see what we find. I also forgot to mention my fun Santa hat and necklace. How did I miss that? And I just walked up to someone's shopping cart and started putting Hi. stuff in it. It was a man standing with his cart, and it was not my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle and Winnie watched it happen. And Winnie, what'd you say? He said, Mom, that's not your friend. <laughs> and Daddy was saying, Mom, 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 Mom. <laughs> but he was very friendly and nice, even though I've put my stuff in his cart. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Happy holidays. <laughs> I finished running errands with Kyle and Winnie. Then we picked up Ellis from school. And now I'm home while Kyle takes Ellis and Winnie to Ellis's swim class. I really wanted to go and I'm really bummed that I couldn't go, but... Oh, we're having an uh-oh moment. <laughs> um, I have a rash, a new rash. I will insert pictures or videos it's not the best lighting in here, you can't really tell here, but I'll insert pictures and videos of it. It looks exactly like when I had the same thing when I went, when I was going through cancer treatment last year. So during chemo and radiation, I had to go to East ETC because I had a fever and so they thought there was an infection somewhere so they prescribed me Levaquin and I went home and started my Levaquin and I started to get this rash of what it looks like on me now all over my body and I was fine but it was alarming so I went to ETC I called ETC and asked if I should go in and they said yes so I went in they were full so they couldn't take me so I went to a regular ER at a just a regular hospital and they were so nice they took care of me but all they did was observe me for hours and gave me Benadryl and they came to the conclusion they also did a CT scan to make sure my lungs were okay but um, they came to the conclusion that it was either an allergy to the Levaquin that I had just started or a drug rash because I was on all these new medications. And my team at City of Hope came to the conclusion that it was uh, an allergy to Levaquin. And so that's been on my file since then that I have an allergy to Levaquin. Now, I started a new pain medication. I was debating not taking it for a while till I saw my regular clinical trial nurse, but her fill-in clinical trial nurse told me it was okay to take, so I ended up taking it the last two nights before bed. I don't remember the name of it still. I know I had some people ask me. I'll put the name on the screen here for anyone who's interested. But I took that pain medication once before bed last night and once before bed the night before. So, I think it's an allergy to that. I am going to email my team and let them know because obviously it's important, but I don't feel anything else, it's just this rash. I feel completely fine. So I took Benadryl and then I'm gonna take a nap and see how it is when I wake up. Kyle wanted me to stay home and rest. He's like, <laughs> My poor guy, he's so worried. I can see his mind turning and like, looks like there's thousands of thoughts going through his 
mind. It's, he seems scared. He seems triggered because of all the stuff I've gone through with immunotherapy not working and having to stop that. And I think he's worried that I'm going to have to stop this new tar or targeted therapy clinical trial medication. And he seems a little panicky and he's like trying to stay calm and cool. But I can see it in his face that he's terrified. So I believe I'm fine. I believe it's just an allergy to the new pain medication. I'm going to contact everyone in my team, the pain doctor, my regular oncologist and nurse practitioner, my clinical trial nurse. I'm going to let everyone know and they can decide they're the professionals. But I think it's an allergy to the new medication and I will keep you guys updated. Kyle just called me and let me know that he was looking up the side effects of the medication, the pain medication. Um, I think he said it was Celebrex. I'll, I'll still have it on the screen earlier if, um, if I'm wrong, who cares? <laughs> but he called me and he looked up the side effects and he said that these were common side effects, the rash, um, and that it's not, I think I have to stop it if I have it. So I'll talk to my doctors and see what they say and nurses. Um, oh, it's always something with cancer. I hate cancer, as you guys know. <laughs> uh, but we got we got some fun stuff at Target, so I'll show you guys that after my nap, and hopefully I'll be doing better after my nap. I would go to the ER or the ETC if I felt it was necessary, but I truly don't feel like it's necessary. I feel fine. It's just this rash, and if it gets any worse, I will probably go to ETC tonight. So don't worry, guys. I will go in if I think I need to. Right now I feel fine, though, so hopefully it'll all be okay. Uh, I hate this kind of stuff, but I'm grateful that I'm okay. I'm grateful that it's, if it is an allergy, that it's just this rash and nothing more severe happening. So that's, that's good. The rash is really itchy and I'm trying so hard not to scratch it, but it's so itchy. So I think I'm going to go take a shower. Um... Kyle wants me to get stuff ready just in case I have to go to ETC, which is like the emergency room of my hospital. I don't want to. He's so scarred and he's so afraid it's going to happen again, like where I have to go in. So he wants me to be prepared for it, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to avoid it. <laughs> I don't want to face it. Ugh. Maybe I'll pack a bag. I think I'm gonna go take a shower, see if that helps my rash feel any better. Um, as I said, I'll go in if it seems worse. My vitals have all been fine. I have all this stuff to take uh, check my vitals. That's a perk of having a nurse as a sister. <laughs> my face looks red on the camera right now, but the rash feels so good. My skin feels almost normal. It doesn't burn or itch anymore. I'm really pleased with that. Yes. All right, we just finished swim class. And now we came across the street to our favorite ice cream place. They have some non-dairy ice creams. Winnie, what flavor did you get? Banana. Tell us what'd you get? Mint and chip. Mint and chip. And daddy got a mint and chip shake. We should call mommy and see if she wants anything too before we go. Yum, yum, yum. Is it good? Yeah, where are you? Where is it? Delicious. Daddy finished his shake first. Meals. Ellis is avoiding the spoon know. and just licking it. That's really good. Yummy. Winnie, how you doing? Is good. it delicious? Yeah. Fabulous? Mm -hmm. Terrific? Yeah. Yum? Yum. Scrumptious? Uh -huh. Delicious? Yeah. Out of this world? Yeah. Yeah. Ellis, any adjectives you want to use to describe your ice cream? Uh, 
amazing delicious. Oh, very well, very good. Yum! Yum, yum, yum. But cold. I forgot to take footage of you at swim class. How was swim class? Good. Yeah? What are some of the things that you did today in swim class? Um, kicks. Kicks? Pizza glides. Pizza glides. Wow. How do you think you did? Good. Yeah, I think you did a great job today. Daddy totally forgot to pick up my phone on the camera and show you swimming, so. You look freezing, so we should probably go in the car. You guys ready to go? Do you want to bring your ice creams? Yeah! Okay. All right, guys, bad news. Um, the rash is getting worse, so I'm going to ETC, which is the emergency room of my hospital. Uh, let's see if you can see it. This is swelling in the rash. So it's starting to swell now. And it's getting darker in color. And it's burning and itching way more. And it's the worst on my arms and hands. On my the rest of my body, it's not as bad, but it is on my legs, my thighs, um, my arms, and my stomach. Kyle is going to take me and drop me off with the kids. My sister, um, her household has the flu, so I'm not gonna <laughs> go with them, no offense sis. <laughs> Love you guys. And then my dad has um, Ellis and Winnie's cold. I guess it's technically my cold too, but he got it from them. Um, but he has it worse than me to where he sounds too rough to be in the ER of a cancer hospital, even if he is wearing a mask. I, I don't think the other patients would be too happy with him in there. So <laughs> Kyle's gonna take me and drop me off, bring the kids back home. They don't let him in the ETC room for a long time anyways so or maybe not even at all um, if it's just a quick visit it, he won't be with me at all so I'll just call him if I need him and then if he's unable to help me I can always call my brother-in-law um, he doesn't have the flu but I would rather not chance us getting the flu so I think I'll just call Kyle if if they let me out in the middle of the night and then the kids can just, you know, come in the car sleepy. They're, they'll be fine. <laughs> We've all done that as kids. Hey guys, where are we heading? Doctors. Who are we taking? Mommy. Mommy? And what do you guys think about it? Fun. It's fun because you get your cool tablets from Auntie Sandy and Uncle Mark, huh? And we're gonna, and we're gonna play, play tablet, maybe play little toys. There's not much room. That's okay, you guys can have fun. Maybe the back, you guys can go in the back. Or you can sit in my seat. There's presents. Yes. Oh yeah. Back there. Maybe you should unload those before we go. They're all covered, it's fine. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's hit the road. All right, you guys, I'm already leaving. It has not been long at all. I'll tell you more details when I get home because I look weird vlogging in public. All right, bye. We are driving home and we're in Upland. We're, we don't live in Upland, but we're driving through Upland, and they have the prettiest Christmas lights in this shopping center in the colonies. There's a tree coming up, too. We just love it. not late at all. I was prepared to be at ETC all night because it takes forever normally and I did not have to be there all night. I am home relaxing with a heating pad on my back and that is because I checked it, I get to ETC to check in and sit down in the waiting room. After sitting in the waiting room for maybe a minute or two I get a call from my oncology team and they said that they saw my latest YouTube video, that I had a cold and they wanted to see if I was okay. I told them I'm actually in ETC right now 
and they said, okay, we're gonna come down and see you. They wanted to like check on me and make sure I was okay. They recently found out about my YouTube channel because someone in the department found it and told everyone, and so that's how they knew about it. But I was so embarrassed slash happy to see them. But I was embarrassed just because, you know, I never expected any of them to see any of this. Um, you know, it's like my video diary. So it's just, you know, I don't expect my doctor to see it. I don't know. And they came and I'm not going to lie. I felt really cool having an entourage of the four of them there with me. I felt very cool. And then they ended up helping me since they were still there. I didn't even think they would still be there. They said, why didn't you call her or text us? And I said, because I didn't think you'd be here on a Friday night, but I guess they are. And so they checked me out, did blood work, and told me I was fine to go home to drink lots of fluids and take Benadryl. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm even gonna drink coconut water. My doctor recommended that a while ago. And I don't like coconut water, I don't know why. I love coconut, like regular coconut in other forms, but not coconut water. But I'm gonna drink it because I know it's good for me. And lots of water. I will update you guys with how I'm doing. The rash is still there. It's so hard to tell, like to see it, but it's there and it's like warm to touch, kind of swollen and it's itchy and burny, um, but it's only itchy and burny on my arms really. So that's good. The main reason I ended up deciding to go in for the rash was because Kyle and I started reading about the medication that I just started, the pain medication, and it said, if you have these side effects, go to the hospital. And one of them was the rash all over the body. So that's why I decided to go in. And I'm glad I did, because now I have peace of mind. <laughs> I'm shocked that I'm home already and I get to relax here. And I'm so grateful that it's because of my team at City of Hope. I know you guys hear it all the time for me, but City of Hope is truly the best hospital in the world. <laughs> Um, I, I may be biased because I go there, but um, at the, hosp the hospital I was at before, I always loved until I got cancer, and then they made me feel like they didn't care, and like I wasn't taken care of there. And when I got my second opinion at City of Hope, I instantly felt cared for, and like my life mattered, and that they truly wanted to help me, and I knew I had to get treatment there. We had to make a big expensive insurance switch that was so difficult to do. Kyle probably lost a few years due to that insurance switch. It was so stressful, but it was all so worth it because at City of Hope, they truly give the best care I've ever experienced. All right, I'm gonna go so I can edit this video and go to bed. I will update you guys tomorrow on how I'm doing but I feel fine, so I think everything's gonna be a-okay. I love you all and I appreciate you. I hope you have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.